We recently featured a comprehensive segment on the measles vaccine that sparked a robust conversation on social media. We want to respond directly to your concerns. Infectious disease expert Dr. Ravina Kular joins us again to help tackle some of your questions. We're going to go ahead and get to our first response where a viewer writes, why don't we test for immunity before getting booster doses? I have this done on my dog and have avoided many revaccinations. <laughs> Great question, Great Dr. Ravina. Yeah. I will let you as the expert take it away. Definitely, so first of all, we go to titers here. What are titers? Titers actually measure the amount of antibodies in our blood. And what these titers can do, they're very important because you may have been exposed to the disease, been asymptomatic, and you may have developed immunity to that disease without knowing it. Do you think it's a good idea to test those titers and see if they already have sufficient immunity before a booster dose? Definitely, yeah, I do think it's a good idea because you may already have developed immunity to uh, that specific disease and you may not need that booster dose. And where you can get your titers checked is at a local pharmacy clinic or your doctor's office. But it's something to keep in mind is that immunity is not permanent. So that you need to make sure that you get your titers checked regularly just to make sure that you still are immune to that disease. Vaccines have increased our lifespan by over 30 years. You know, we live in a society here where unless we've seen something, we don't believe it. Go to a developing country and you will see this firsthand where polio is still endemic. Let's move on to another question. And the viewer writes, vaccine makers have no liability and there are zero double blind placebo controlled trials on these vaccines. Dr. Ravina? Um, I'm going to address that second question first. So double-blind randomized uh, placebo-controlled trials, that's completely incorrect. There have been double-blind placebo-controlled trials done, and they were done in the 1950s and 1960s. And doing a double-blind randomized control trial now, where we know vaccines are safe and efficacious, would be completely unethical. Uh, I mean, think about it. Would, you, would we do a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial to test whether parachutes work or not? No, same thing. There's no way we're gonna do a randomized control trial now knowing that vaccines are safe and efficacious. I think what's troubling for me at times with all the dangerous misinformation out there is that there are a lot of things in healthcare that aren't that efficacious, mm -hmm. that are potentially harmful, and quite frankly, no one is up in arms about those things. And I think we've talked loud and clear yes. about a lot of those things. I'd like to believe that our show willingly and openly talks about where healthcare gets it wrong. But there is so much misinformation out there. Um, and it's just one of the rare things where it impacts all of society. Okay. And, and I think these are really important things for people to understand. And if you have questions, you should ask them. But ask them uh, of, to someone who is a, a knowledgeable individual and just be very careful when it comes to the bad science.